Hello everybody and welcome to another review thingy here on this YouTube channel. Today we're looking at a continuity of an Italian TV channel called Rayoyo. We will see all of the programming it has, including the bumpers and promos, if we manage to catch any, because this TV channel doesn't air a lot of bumpers and promos. Well, what I like about this cartoon, which is called Masha and the Bear, is that they show a lot of 2D animation in some of their cartoons. They managed to capture the Russian world in a pretty pleasant looking way. There are a lot of cartoons out there made in Russia back a long time ago and they don't look pretty. They don't look pretty in my opinion. This newer incarnation with Nash and the Bear looks a little prettier to me. I'm guessing Racconti means stories. Possibly fairy tales. That's about some kind of king, some kind of tsar, I guess. So yeah, Mafia is telling you a story about all kinds of Russian fairy tales. Probably known in the Russian world. The balancing act is not easy. I actually like this cartoon, how it looks and how it feels. I don't know why they're called Brave Bunnies though. Don't you love how Italians talk? They're all so serious. That's that's how they sound to me. The way they talk is like they're gonna get upset any second. Like they're at the edge of crying. <laughs> that's how it sounds like to me. I think the Italians are very hurt people. Yeah, this, all of this, this whole cartoon looks like it was drawn by a very skilled five-year-old. And maybe it is meant, meant for five-year-olds, so mission accomplished. Yeah, I believe this cartoon was made in Blender and I'm amazed. I think Blender is accessible to me. I could probably get a hold of this program program and start animating myself. Yeah, the overweight cat, keep, the only thing he keeps thinking about is food. Wait, Ascolta means later or now? I forgot. Yeah, we got all kinds of cats here. I mean, the, the title of this cartoon is 44 cats, so I s expect to see at least 44 cats, and so far I have not seen 44 cats. That was my favorite part, when they eat spaghetti and become superheroes or something. They claim it gives, you, uh, it, it gives them vitamins, but I don't think so. I think spaghetti is junk food. They got this lemon looking background and it just makes my mouth all sour, feel all sour just looking at it. Vitamina. Yeah, I love this the, the part where they sing the, the post. Potatoes, 
I love this part so much that I didn't want to interrupt with my voice. I don't like this song that much, so I'm gonna just talk over it, because who cares, right? Who cares if you interrupt a song you don't really enjoy? But the previous song was really a... Uh, uh, let's listen again. And now it ended, so I guess the only song I really like is the intro, which they sing every time the cartoon starts. Oh hey, we're gonna get to see a little bit of the promos on this TV channel after all. They're all bikes with eyes and mouths, and they can do stuff like humans and talk. They're sentient and they all speak Italian. Prima visione. That means premiere. I got, I got all the Barbas here, assembled, and they can transform into anything they want, including electrical instruments. What's the story behind them? What's their origin? Hello, this is my little brother Peppa Pig, and today she's going to talk about America, and particularly Arizona. Or oh, some kind of desert place where they can wear cowboy hats. Yeah, this cartoon is gonna repeat like two two more times for some reason. I don't know why. Equesto Papina. Sometimes they repeat the same episode again, but uh, it's in English. The whole episode is in English except for the announcer. Which it still announces everything in Italian. The narrator, I meant, not the announcer. That's how they imagine American superheroes, the British. Oh no, this is gonna be a long pause here. And that particular picture stays up for like maybe a full minute. It's really maybe 30 seconds, but it feels like a minute. Super potato. Yeah, some people say potato, but the Italians say potato. Some words are the same in these languages. Because English borrowed a lot of words from French, and French is a romance language. It's in the same category as Italian, they're similar. But how do you say potato in French? Who, who are you calling a worm? Bye guys, where are you going to fumble at? I'm pretty sure it's make believe. You don't have to say bye. You're not a belly fish, you're a mouse. What are you talking about? A little bit more of a little bit more of Barbara Papa, but this time it isn't a promo, it's an intro. And look, they stay true to the original design. Everything's like in the old cartoon. I said it once and I'll say it before, this elephant it really is a downer to be around. So yeah, they had this very old uh, cartoon called Barba Papa and now they just made more episodes. They didn't reboot it or anything, they just continued making new modern episodes with new modern equipment. And I, everything looks higher quality, but it's still the same cartoon, I think. That's what we want to see from every everyone who tries to revive an old cartoon. Take notes, people. <laughs> cartoon Network. So this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out more videos in this YouTube channel. See ya, bye bye